Okay, so time for an update on the Harley Davidson Street Rod 750. Now it's been in my garage the last couple of months. It's been a little bit too cool and bad weather to take the bike out. But today I wanted to take it out and I've been out all day. Not just for fun, but to try and give an opinion on this Phantom Hines FP3. Now there's a few videos on YouTube all about installation and initial thoughts, but I wanted to give it a little bit more of a a longer term opinion you know I've been riding the bike all day I've tried a few different settings and I think I agree with all the other reviews out there it certainly is worth the money now it's 330 pounds with a little bit of a discount on a, a coupon on eBay but I do know they vary from 330 to 400 when I purchased it I haven't really had much experience of similar products such as power commanders and so on on my bikes but I thought you know what let's go for it and I'm really glad I did. Now there's a few things that it does to the bike straight away which improves the riding experience and I'll come on to them in a second but firstly I just want to talk about how easy it was to install it. All you do is you plug it in to where you could see it the CAN bus you then download an app you select your modifications, in this case I have the Vance and Heinz Competition Exhaust. It downloads your stock map and then uploads a map that they've tried and tested, as in Vance and Heinz have tried and tested on similar Street Rod 750s with similar performance upgrades. And you know what? It transforms the bike. Now, first of all, one thing I will say with that map, I noticed that the bike actually runs cooler. Now, one of the big disadvantages of the Street Rod 750, as I see from a lot of the reviews in India, is that this part here, and of course the cylinder, gets extremely hot, extremely uncomfortable. Now, I don't really feel that much at this time of year in Scotland. However, in the summer, when I bought the bike, I didn't know exactly what people were on about. But the FP3 certainly makes a big difference to that. I don't know how it does it, but it certainly runs cooler, making it much more comfortable. Secondly, the throttle response. Now the standard throttle response on the Street Rod 750 is a bit notchy, it's a bit on or off. With the FP3, you can adjust it manually, but the map, the default map with the Vance and Hines slip-on made it so much easier, much easier to ride, so much more progressive, much more linear, and none of that on-off or that jerky that you get on the stock 750. Thirdly, and I think this is probably the best thing ever, is it raises the rev limit to 9,500 RPM. Now the Street Rod 750 over the street raises it I believe from 8,500 to 9,000 but then the FP3 takes it one more up to 9,500. It makes it more powerful. So 9,500 revs is the uh, the rev limit on this which is incredible from a Harley Davidson V-Twin and I have seen a difference in acceleration so it runs better it runs cooler the throttle response is better it revs higher and that just touches on the things that you can do with the FP3 I've adjusted the idle now when it's warm it idles about 1500 revs or or something like that which is really high I've taken it right down done a bit of research first before I did this but I've taken it down to a thousand rpm so you'll see a, a bit of a difference so I think it starts about 1500 revs when it's when it's cool then to 1350 when it's warm so you've only got those two variations there so I changed the, the warmer part down to a thousand revs and the great thing is you can change it if you want to increase it or decrease it I think you can go down to 900 which I I probably won't try because again there's been a few people talking about the, the lack of oil around the engine you know not not charging of course too but at 1100 revs at a warm idle the bike sounds so much better so the fp3 is it worth it yes it is and i've only talked about the standard maps that you've got available on the fp3 server there's also an auto tune option where you effectively choose auto tune and go for a ride and it actually maps through all the sensors on the bike when the uh, the fuel, the air and so on goes into all the, the proper mapping for fueling and it makes such a massive difference.
And one of the other great benefits of the FP3 is because it plugs into the Canvas system, it's got access to any error codes, you can reset them, you can find out a little bit more about the sensors, and it also gives you a digital dashboard. So with the app, you can choose what to have on your mobile phone screen. I've got revs, I've got the mylometer, I've got the throttle position sensor. Again, you can choose all these. You know, this video just touches on just a couple of things really that you can do with the FP3. But if I was in the market, I would definitely go for it. I know there's Harley Davidson's own version, but you know, this FP3 does everything you could possibly need and more. If you're on the fence, go for it and post up a video or any comment and I'd love to hear from you. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask, please like and subscribe. I never ask that on any of my videos, but the channel's starting to grow and it really helps me out. Stay safe.